watch this particular video if you don't want to lose your page okay so the trend now is that a lot of people has been losing their page due to little mistake that they should have corrected now it's not the case that scammers took over their page they actually lost this page because of ignorance on this video i'm going to show you how to secure your page so that you will not lose this page by mistake okay so there is a, a tool that is on facebook that allows you to secure your page and for you to secure this your page you have to secure your account as we all know before you be able to control or perform anything on a page you need an account a facebook account be it an account that is on professional mode or a classic account the old account that we usually used before before um, professional mode was introduced so you need to secure this account make it secured very well so that facebook will know that you are the rightful owner of this account they will know that this account is a human being not someone that um, was cloned or not uh, um, an imaginary person that this his identity was uh, framed or copied from another person so they introduced a way of verifying the owners of accounts so if you are watching this video you need to make sure you pay attention because you have to do this to be able to be in control of your page and when they ask you to verify if it's you that is operating this page you'll be able to submit your details to them and they will confirm it through the documents that you have already submitted through this video tutorial that you are watching so before you go over to this uh, tutorial make sure that you have a valid document of yourself and a clear picture also of yourself then you also need some apps like authenticator app or you need an active email so if you don't have an email go ahead and create an email and also keep your phone number close because you may be using all those tools to secure your account so that your page will be safe for you so let's go into the video so to secure your account this is what you are going to do the first thing is that you need to come to your facebook app so i'm going to open my facebook app this is my facebook app so the next thing you need to do is to make sure you are switched to your personal account not your page so as you can see here this is my personal account your own personal account this is a professional mode account okay so you must be on your personal account not on your page so if you are not switched just make sure you switch to your personal account so once you are switched you are going to come to menu here so when you come to your menu you are going to scroll down so come down till you see settings and privacy so click on it click on this drop down arrow when you click on it you are going to see settings okay click on settings once you click on settings you will see password and security mind you that this is a new update for those of you who have done what we call double authentication on facebook make sure that you come here to watch if what i'm going to show you is on already so click on password and security again this is my account this is my account center okay so once you are here you are going to come down to password and security again look at password and security so once you come here you can see where they uh, wrote advanced protection you must make sure that this on here that you see that it is turned on let me click on it so that we're going to see that my own is turned on already make sure you have activated this if you've not activated it just come here and click on um turn on when you come to this place so click on it and if your own is not on it's going to tell you to start now this is what is going to show on your page and you follow the procedure and submit your id card and some basic information that they will ask you but mind you before you do that make sure that you have a profile picture that is your own a profile picture that carries your face 
before you start protecting your account or turning this on make sure that your profile has your image that's your photo that is on your id card because they are going to verify it okay so you are going to come down and also check your details like your birthday make sure they correspond to the one you have on your id card that you are going to submit then when you come back let's go back to password and security again so let's go again then you can see here you can see change password you can see two-factor authentication now this two-factor authentication you have to do it first to be able to turn your advanced protection and to do this you just have to click on it they will ask you to either protect your account with an app we call it authenticator app or that you receive a, a text messages through a phone number or the last one is um, you use email i guess is email all right so um here when you click on it you are going to click on your account then here they are going to ask me to input my password so i'm going to put my password So you continue so when you continue now it's going to show like this as you can see here my account is very secured uh, i have two-factor authentication on on this account and uh, i have authenticator app and i also have what we we'll call sms or whatsapp uh, link i've linked all this to my account so this account will be very hard for even hackers to hack so make sure your double authentication is on then you go ahead and turn on your advanced protection please if you have not done this go and do it now because they are giving people from now to august 30th to complete this or they will be locked out of their accounts please and uh, before i close this video make sure that the name on your profile tallies with the name on your id card the way it is displaying on your id card that it is on your facebook account go ahead and change your facebook name now okay please share this to everybody that needs to see it so that they will not be locked out of their account and if when setting this up you come to a place that is very difficult for you come back to this post and drop a question i will guide you i will tell you what to do so that you don't make mistakes okay so i come your way next time